new hat and it's not a dad hat it's not a fitted hat it's not a snapback this is totally different okay something new within my closet to my style and i'm a really big fan of it and i gotta say it's good to try things out good to try new things sometimes Okay, but don't get it twisted when it comes to the foam runner. It's not happening, okay? Just never, ever, ever, it's not happening. Let's start with the unboxing of the GG Pip hat. It comes in a rather large box because of course it has to house this rather large hat. I love the branding and the message. It details so many things a woman may be because as a woman, we wear many different hats. We're not all the same. I selected the Scotty Wide Brim Fedora hat in the charcoal gray colorway for $124. This is clearly the most expensive hat I now own in my collection, but I think the quality makes it worth it. You have a stiff brim wide fedora hat with an A-line upper for the hat itself, and you can accessorize with bands. I chose to keep it classic. Alright everybody, it's your girl TJ back another video on Talks with TJ and that's right, new hat and this is truly something different like i don't know if i ever saw myself in a wide brim fedora hat but here we are and i absolutely love it so i picked this up from gg pip it's a brand owned by women and they design hats for women so right up my alley specifically what i was in the market for and i blame this not only on an amazing hairstylist she uh had a reel up i think on instagram with this hat and then a few others so i don't know if it was the exact that color but similar style she had quite a few options and it just looks so good so then i had to pinterest because pinterest is truly where a lot of inspiration comes from but it can suck you in like that algorithm is way 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 too good but i uh, started searching like hey wide brim hats for women or on women or styled by women and just so many options i think it can elevate an outfit that's casually dressed down like i think you can take it to a different level with this hat and it's it's also something that that is, uh, let's say, a little bit higher in terms of uh, styling than a fitted hat. Not that I won't rock my fitted hats, dad hats, snapback, strapback hats if it's an essentials hat all the time. But I think this just adds something a little bit more special to the arsenal when it comes to styling and what I may choose to wear out and about depending on what the occasion is. And so I have the charcoal gray. I definitely want some other colors. There's one that's like a sage, so it's like a green tinted hat. I really want that. I'll eventually probably get just stark black or a true black black hat and then we'll see what else I think a lighter hat like a tan would work as well and again if I uh, pick any of those up I'll be sure to showcase them here on the channel and I'll put the link below to this hat um, so you guys can check it out now in terms of styling okay I said I think you can dress something up a little bit and that really means like you're rocking a sweatshirt I think you can throw this hat on but then also me playing around with more business casual looks We'll do that today, and I'll also feature some brand new H&M items I got in. Uh, a silk blend or silk cotton blend t-shirt. Absolutely love it. They already sold out of the white one completely. The brand new oversized Oxford shirt you guys saw in the previous video for the Mark Fisher loafers. And then also some brand new Oxford shorts. So let's take a look at this hat style three ways. For the first look on the left, I'm wearing a brand new H&M silk cotton blend t-shirt in white, size small, a pair of Oxford shorts also from H&M in a size small and gray, and the Sakai undercover LD waffle in the citron and black colorway. For the second look, gotta incorporate Fear of God. So we have the Fear of God Essentials Core Collection, light heather oatmeal crew neck sweatshirt in a size small, the six collection shorts from Mainline in an extra small in that awesome blue colorway, and then the Nike Air Max One London. For the final look, my brand new oversized Oxford shirt from H&M in white, size small, the Richie Lee Collection wool trouser cargo pants in the dark gray, and the brand new Mark Fisher Connor loafer in the tan suede colorway. So please be sure to comment below which outfit is your favorite. Again, this is a versatile hat. I think it elevates each look a little more than any other hat in my collection, and that's why I picked this up in the charcoal gray colorway. 
All right, I'll keep this video short. All you guys need to know is I'm a really big fan. It took some finessing, okay, to get this hat on with these uh, butterfly locks. Not the easiest for me to be able to wear hats. I don't know if I said that here on the channel. I've definitely said it on Twitter. That's the only downside <laughs> to this hairstyle, trying to wear hats. Even my hats that are seven and a half, it just doesn't work. Now I'm out of this hairstyle in five weeks. I'll go back to the paradise twist or the smaller silkier style twist, which means I'll be able to rock all of the hats I have in my arsenal um, outside of the six, seven, eighth, and seven hats. I'll be good to go then. And this set is actually designed where you can um, make it a little bit smaller too. So when I go back to wearing my hair straight in the fall and winter, I'll definitely be able to still rock this and then get some other hats. But comment your thoughts. I'm really curious to know, is this a hat style you would ever wear yourself? Or, you know, are you in the market now? Are you a little bit curious about trying this out? Uh, again, comment below. Love when you guys engage. Be sure to comment your favorite outfit as well. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.